Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, entertainment and technology clients, showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, here we are in Amsterdam at IBC 2025, and I'm joined now by Ted from USSI Global. First of all, Ted, remind us what it is that you actually do. Uh, USSI Global is a service-oriented company. Uh, we supply everything from uh, warehousing, logistics, um, configuration, engineering support, tier one, tier two. We do a lot of things on the, uh, the support side of the industry. You've made the journey from Florida, but you've got a lot of messages for your European customers. Yes, essentially, uh, probably break it down into three different categories. One is uh, IP transport, which is really in our term is IP distribution from uh, one place to another, not internal like an S2110. Uh, uh, legacy support in both terms of equipment and customer. And then the other one is skill gaps with respect to both project and, and operational. And can you elaborate on each of those three a little bit more for us? Sure, on the, uh, the IP distribution, uh, we're looking at basically everything is IP distribution anymore. Okay, it's, um, you know, even geo satellite distribution is now, everything is becoming an IP layer. There's MEO and LEO orbits and we're supporting all those service providers. And then there's cellular and then traditional uh, 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 terrestrial IP distribution. So we're, we're evolving into this non-terrestrial 5G ecosystem. So everything will be an IP transport, you just won't know what orbit it's on. Okay, so that's what we mean by uh, IP distribution. And we're seeing a lot of um, uh, content sharing in Europe, you know, with US content owners, European content owners, they're both sharing content for each other's platform. So content distribution is, is going to be a growing thing. And what about the, the legacy uh, equipment that you were talking about earlier? Right, so the, the other thing in the industry is uh, things are moving very fast. Uh, people need to do two jobs, at least two jobs, and do it more efficiently, yeah. efficiently than they have before. And uh, what we found is that uh, we're supporting both legacy equipment and legacy customers. So European equipment manufacturers, for instance, would need help in the U.S. to support their legacy U.S. customers and their legacy products. And we're doing everything from uh, warehousing, uh, depot repairs down to the component level, tier one, tier two, uh, customer support, call center, and those kind of things. So we give them one less thing to worry about so they can fo focus on all their, their, their new revenue paths. Absolutely, and the jobs that they need to do. You also mentioned the skills gap, the skills shortage, so you really can help here. Yes, I, uh, there's, there's a number of industry uh, reports, and you know I'm a fan of the IBM. They, they put out a lot of different reports and surveys, and uh, basically they're saying there's a lot of skills gaps. So especially when you have a large transition, you don't have the time to staff up, do the project, and then dismantle the team. So we can come in and help out with those things where we have uh, both RF, video, networking kind of skills. We can do a lot of those kind of projects. And then as I mentioned before, on the operational side, we can help out with warehousing, logistics, uh, shipping. We can uh, basically take in raw equipment, build it, configure it, test it, sometimes test it on the customer's actual channels, and then ship it, install it, and then monitor it and maintain it and take calls on it for the rest of its life cycle. You literally are a one-stop shop when it's like, help, I don't know what to do. Well, yes, definitely on the back end side so everyone can work on their forward moving. And looking ahead, the crystal ball gazing uh, question now, you've obviously evolved so much as a company over the years from maybe what you started out doing to what you're doing and offering now. What's next for you? Well, we're trying to uh, do a couple of different things. And again, we're a pretty strong player in the uh, satellite ecosystem. We're supporting basically all the different LEO constellations and all the GEO and MEO. So all this you know, higher or geostationary orbit, Middle Earth and Low Earth orbit constellations, and uh, evolving standards to make it a, a 5G NTN network with uh, players like ST Engineering, iDirect, uh, Kratos, those kind of people. And uh, we're going to follow that whole trend so that uh, when we get to the end of the day, people won't know how media is getting from one place to another, whether it's B2B or B2C. I can't wait to see what happens next. Ted, have a great show. Great to see you here in Amsterdam, and good luck. All right, thank you very much.